Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be uh, discussing about Amazon Poly and how to create a lexicon file, how to do the uh, speech synthesis markup language, how to utilize it, and uh, what are the different case studies and all I can show you and how we can download or upload a uh, MP3 of the existing text audio, how we can download it and how we can upload to S3 bucket. So I will directly move on to the demo. So before moving that, just I just I would like to discuss like it is uh, this one Amazon Poly. It is uh, high quality, natural sounding human voices in lots of languages. You can see the list. They have provided a huge list, and there are five million characters free per month for twelve months. So basically, it is helping you to customize and control the speech output. And it supports lexicon. What is lexicon and all? I will show you the practical. Then we can uh, store and redistribute speech in standard formats like MP3, OGG. And it also quickly delivers uh, lifelike voices and also the conversational user experience. So basically, uh, these are the various uh, case scenarios like content creation. Basically, uh, so basically when you're creating a content, so you can see over here, whatever you publish. So Lambda, you can just push it to the Amazon Poly. Then the, this text is being sent in the form of a stream speech audio back to the AWS Lambda. Then it gets stored in the S3. This integration without Lambda also, you can do it directly from the uh, AWS Poly. So no need to work up, uh, worry about this Lambda and all. So a good thing about that, the developer guidelines are there. You can see, oh yeah, I will share the link in the um, video description. You can see over there like uh, how they are making a CLI based or API calls, how they are making it and how they are still retrieving the data and storing the data. So all the things are possible with the help of APIs and all the full documentation is given. So you can develop your own uh, customized application also. So in terms of e-learning and all, like suppose certain lesson is being prepared. So a poly request for synthesis are being sent, converted into speech, then we can have a DynamoDB involved to store the, those uh, speech files, multiple speech files. And then we can have a cloud front to retrieve the JSON speech files from the S3. So that's how we can feed it to the our e-learning app. Then in case of telephony, like a uh, customer calls basically to the contact center to know your account balance. So it basically looks up for the customer account, I send it to the Amazon Poly, then it checks, then it returns back at just a automated uh, audio is being played, like how much is your balance and all. So this is how the customer knows the balance. And all. So these are the various uh, scenarios in which we can utilize it, AWS Poly. So before moving, uh just a quick overview so it is a customized pronunciation that we can utilize for that is comes under lexicons so how to utilize those lexicons and all a uh, few things that we need to understand like uh, it is having two phonetic we have uh, basically the transcript basis on which we do the translation that is we are having over here two that is two phonetic alphabets that IPA and X sample. So based upon this sky characters there, these are the standards that is being used. So there is a like a recommendation, like if you start using one of the uh, type, so keep on using the same type throughout your uh, text. So before uh, like uh, showing you something, like um, if you see over here, or poly over here, uh, it's a, just a example over here. So I'll just change it to my name. So you can see neural, it produces the most natural. We can have a standard also, and you can select the uh, whichever language you want to do and whatever uh, voice, male, female you want. And then you can click on this, listen. Hi, my name is Jess Ball. I will read any text you type here. So this is how you can have it. So similarly, at the same time, like suppose if you want to do the speech synthesis and all, I will just show you quickly a quick example over here. 
like uh, just a small example just i'll just use this run i'll share this links also in order to get to more details about it so let's say if i go over here if i enable this ssml so you can see it is automatically changing the syntax so i'm just copying this one so here when you are providing the input text in this way like we need to have this phenom or phoneme uh, alphabet then again the the support that we have for phonetic alphabets that that is example or you can use ipa so basically it's like uh, showing you like uh, the, the pro the pronunciation which way to use like uh, that's basically a standard that is being used in order to have a phonetic transcription with a normal keyboard and all so that's how we use two standards and ph is the uh, keyword being used so this word will be qa will be replaced with doha so this is just a small example like how we can utilize it so if i click on listen now i'm wishing you all were very happy doha so you can see it didn't pronounce the QA. Instead of that, it pronounced over here Doha. So this is how we can utilize it. This is just a normal text I'm feeding it. So how we can uh, take help of the lexicons in order to um, abbreviations or certain word pronunciation you want to change it. So here we have over here a lexicons. So before moving on to the lexicon, there is a particular syntax is there, just XML it is there or you can have a uh, you can you can upload your lexicons over here it's taking some time okay so you can see you can have it in xml or pls formats so i will prefer using the xml format so you can see over here uh, we have over here. So this is the structure of a uh, lexicon. So you have to define XML version, uh, lexicon version, then these are the namespace. Then we need to make it sure we are defining over here alphabet and XML lang equal to ENAU. So if you want to use the US, you have to define it US. Uh, so make it sure this is the matching as per the the language that you will be using while doing the speech synthesis so this is very important so this is a lexim tag and instead we have the graphim tag and then we have the lei so this is basically whenever the keyword word will be coming so it will be replaced with kata so this is how it's going to work so uh, this file we need to upload like this we can have uh, thousands of thousands of uh, like different uh, abbreviations or certain uh, pronunciations like suppose uh, some people say like uh, you know uh, uh, like uh, uh, like uh, synthesis synthesize something like that you know like you can have proper uh, pronunciation being defined over here like a simple example like matter key some say mataraki so these are basically the difference between two of them so you can have defined so not only this uh, short forms you can also use it for your pronunciation how it is being pronounced in different different languages you know different different uh, dialects are there like how they pronounce those things so after def after creating this file uh, we need to upload over here you need to define the lexical name and choose the file name and you need to upload it once it is being uploaded, it will show over here. And you can see over here, this is the English Australian I have used. And after uploading my lexicon, so I will just show you what I have used over here in this, my lexicons. So here I have said that whenever we get this word QA, so it should get replaced with kata, like pronounced, it should be pronounced kata. So I'll go back to my Amazon poly over here, uh, try poly. So this is SSML. So I just need to disable it because I don't want to use that. Mm. OK, 
Okay. So I will just change a little bit. I am. Okay, so I'm mentioning this just like this. And I have to make it show here it is English, not this US English Australian. So because in the XML file it is AU. And in the additional settings, I need to go over here and customize your pronunciation. And we have to choose over here. You can see my Lex English Australian. So it will be shown over here. And whenever you want to remove it, you can just remove it. It won't it won't replace or it won't pronounce those words as per mentioned in the lexicons. So now if I listen this one. Hi, my name is Just Al. I am a resident of Qatar. So you I think yeah, you might have heard properly like it is replacing the word. Uh, keyword with Qatar. I will just click again. Hi, my name is Just Al. I am a resident of Qatar. So this is how you can use the lexicons and all. And uh, if you want to download, you can uh, click on the download button and you will get your uh, MP3. And if you want to save to S3 bucket, you can define the bucket name, the prefix, and uh, it's in a stock pick and all if you want to create it like if you want to have uh, some synthesis task request and then you can have use it to able to publish those things so that also you can do even like uh, there is a very good example i have done for this is a topic notifications like whenever any synthesis happens or anything getting uploaded any put event happening to a s3 bucket basically that file will be mp3 file so you can have a notification like okay this thing is being uploaded or you can have some a lambda function being defined in order to take some action and all so you can just go through my video like uh, how i have utilized this so this you can also have this uh, topic for notifications so whenever this uh, basically the speech synthesis will happen so you will be able to get uh, notifications as soon as it's being pushed a put operation is being performed on the s3 bucket so you can just go through a detailed guideline. So there are uh, lots of Python scripts and all, and uh, API calls, how to make it. It's, it's completely documented, so you can have a look into it. You can have a, just a small application created, like, you know, for a small app for like, even for um, like, uh, uh, something like, you know, some, some user selecting the text and it is giving the pronunciation according to the language. Uh, specified by the user so just just like uh, you know you can have certain apps being made or display screens that will help the user to understand the things in their own language so that kind of certain things you can prepare okay that's uh all from my side so i hope you understood like how we can utilize it there are different case studies are there even in the github there are uh, lots of examples are given uh, like uh, where we can utilize like how we can have a single uh, app in which uh, tra text translation uh, then uh, document translation then speech synthesis these kind of things are happening all together in one place so you can call the apis and you can do those things easily in one app so but you need to uh, create over here so because you need to pass the year and, and all those things so everything is connected if you're using the sdk and all so you can just go through the documentation. I will provide the links in the description so you can go through it. So in the upcoming time, I, I was planning to come up with some uh, storage gateway and all those things and uh, have some more uh, things related to machine learning, AI and all. So I will try my best to keep on posting uh, on a regular basis in, in the upcoming time. So I hope you like my video. So please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.